The nation's elderly population continues to increase, and so does the need for health care. CBS 2's Steve Obermeyer with what could be a new solution. At the St. John Lynn campus in Kings Park on Long Island, one resident is prepared to go skydiving. Whoa, it's a long way down. Rita's in her 90s and is seeing the world in a new way, virtually. They look like they're dancing. These residents are spending their golden years in comfort. And oh, yes, their bodies may be less mobile, but not their minds. Scary, but thrilling. It took me a long time to get to go on a plane. So can you imagine what I saw today? Mind VR is immersive therapy that allows users to live fuller lives. This is amazing. And what we've seen with VR is it can help across a wide range of health. Chris Brickler is the co founder of Mind VR and dedicated to improving the lives of seniors with technology. This just amazes me. And we think VR is a, is a really powerful tool as it relates to the ability to transport and teleport people to different times, places, and energy fields. This gives me an opportunity to do something that I would love, which is to travel. This new tool allows them to satisfy that craving for experiences that are beyond their reach. Wow. We know from science that music ignites part of the brain and activates part of the brain that can stimulate conversation, can stimulate memories. They're in the square and they're playing music. VR can also be a part of physical therapy by enhancing range of motion or improving coordination by catching butterflies. That was really an awesome experience. I mean, I felt like I was really catching butterflies. <laughs> it was really something. Providing a pathway to joy and reminding everyone that age shouldn't be a barrier to experiencing the world. I felt like I was coming out of myself. I got to see these fantastic places. It makes me happy. I'm saying, oh my God, you know, do you know where I went? <laughs> I went to Germany. <laughs> In Kings Park, Long Island. And beyond, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. What do you think? Keeping their brains active. Yeah. You know, whatever helps. And, and a lot cheaper when you see the concert there instead of going there. A lot cheaper, you know? <laughs> Save a lot of money. But I, I don't know how many elderly people you could really convince to, you know, even I haven't done this stuff. Yeah. Have they ever done this stuff? No. It seems like it would make me dizzy, but yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah.